Okay guys, so here we are in the last round of the Swiss. We are currently sitting at 3-1 and one, and a win is assuredly into top 8 and a loss will, I still think, is keep us in contention for top 8 uh, depending on how breakers shake down. But we've drawn Naoto and Naoto is playing one of his uh, patented Gush Bond decks uh, with a little bit of everything in it. So let's see uh, how it goes. We won the die roll, which is great. And unfortunately this is a really bad hand. Uh, I, I'm not too happy to see this hand here, but I think we 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 keep it. We see what uh, what we can do with it. It's uh, definitely not very exciting though. And Naoto has one little east land. So basically, if we draw into a fetch or a forest, we're in pretty good shape here, I would think. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I think we misstepped that. I don't see a reason not to. Okay, let's let's try and win the fight here. Land. It's not very good. Hmm. question is, is do we, I, I think we're just going to get a jeet out there. The question is, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit fearful of Gush here. Let's keep him off his land. It's a gamble that we're going to draw land next turn, but hopefully he doesn't have a land and he was relying on the Deathrite Shaman in the Underground Sea, and he was too, so land. Oh, we got burned ourselves. But let's hope we can find another land before he finds a land. Nope, we're not doing too good here. No, he got one. And hopefully he does not have a play. We would love to get a land here. We're not getting it done, guys. Um, I think we're going to force a wilderness. We're, we're really just trying to keep him off lands. Typically, I would never bother with a brainstorm. Jeez, uh, I think we're going to do it again here. It's really bad. We just, <laughs> hopefully we don't look stupid and he draws a land here soon, but... Oh, boy. We would... I'd really like to draw land. Particularly having drawn a Stoneforge Mystic, I think we're in reasonable shape here. Oh boy. So we are officially in trouble here. Uh, this could be a Jace the Mind Sculptor we see here which would be very, very difficult for us to beat. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe we were overzealous trying to get his brainstorms. It, it maybe was really bad of us to do that. I mean, it certainly looks bad right now. There we go, finally. Okay. Well, I'm gonna trop, and I think we're gonna try and get a uh, Stoneforge Mystic down. Mm. Uh, maybe we just go for Tarmogoyf. Actually, we're going to do Stoneforge Mystic here. I'm not sure which is correct here. I mean, we're still in this game.
Now here's the question, is he going to bounce our Stoneforge Mystic, or is he going to keep drawing? I mean, we're we, we are in a really bad spot here though, for sure. Like, he could just do a whole multitude of things to us. And I do feel that it was rather unfortuitous for us to go about four turns without drawing a land. I, I really felt like we could have just had tremendous pressure on him. Had we just drawn a land, but that's the price you pay for greed. We did go for the wasteland, and we got what we wanted in the sense that he did not have another land, but... Okay, so we're up against a tinker here. So that's that's game. I mean, we, there's nothing we can do here. So that's... There's nothing. We have no outs to that. Actually, we do have an STP. It's just going to concede prematurely. Yeah, we're, we didn't draw it. Um, I guess we'll play out a Tarmogoyf. And... See if we can survive. Actually, we don't survive because he can just bounce it. So that was a stinker. And I don't really think we have much of a sideboard against Naoto. I mean, Nature's Claim is okay. <coughs> Maybe I'll bring in a Nature's Claim instead of the Sword of Fire and Ice. I think this is fine. Another sloppy looking hand. Jeez. I just don't think we can keep that. Much better. Only thing that would be better than that would to have a blue card in our hand. And hopefully we don't get misstepped here. Because the ramp is definitely what we want. Naoto does have lightning bolts here as well, so we could very well be seeing a lightning bolt. Fast bond would be bad for us. Okay, death right shaman. Pretty reasonable. Um I mean we're one land off here. I mean, I can wasteland him, but I don't think that's really that good right now. We definitely want to keep him off Jace the Mind Sculptor, though. So let's get a Tarmogoyf in here. Do we wasteland him? I think I'm going to. I mean, Batter Skull is just. It's, it's good, but... Okay. Let's attack in. So he's building towards Jace here, there's no doubt about that. Now, this gives us Force of Will mana. I do feel like we need to brainstorm here though. I 
The reason being is it gives this one an extra pump on it. So it'll be interesting to see if he cracks his scalding turn here, going for death right. So that's a pretty good draw for us. Uh, the unfortunate part is we didn't get a a blue source, but we'll put the force back on top. Because it's kind of a useless card right now. And we're going to try and, uh, so I am going to STP right here. To keep him off double blue mana. I mean, if he wants to force a will here, that's fine. So it'll be interesting to see how valuable is this death right here for him. Okay, so he's digging, looking for a misstep probably. Yeah, he's gonna force it, wow. Okay, guess pretty important part of his plan. So we'll keep him off lands here as long as we can. I mean, keeping him off Jace the Mind Sculptor is pretty important. I would have liked to have been able to cast a second Tarmogoyf there, but... What are we seeing here? Okay, second death right. That's pretty good. Probably. He's not going after my land. So he's definitely ramping into Jace is what he's trying to do here. Um, and Force of Wills. Uh, probably should have shuffled that back in really bad. Um, well... Let's plow in. Actually, let's cast a Tarmogoyf main phase here and see if it lands. Okay, could be seeing a Jace the Mind Sculptor here. Big top deck. Um, so let's try and get another Tarmo in here. Tarmogoyfs are going to be looking pretty small here soon. Okay. okay. Uh, he's going to gain a couple life here. Oh, he's got mana too. Shucks. But he didn't cast a Jace last turn, and he could have, so... 
doesn't uh, you know vault key me or do anything for that matter. So this is probably a Jace, yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. Just not much we can do about that. I think we just attack Neo too. I mean, he can gain a couple life putting himself at two life here, but um, you know that's pretty much it for the creatures. So, oh, I should have played a high arc. Oh, geez, that was an error. Doesn't matter anyways. And he's gonna try and gain life off himself. And fortunately, this was not a blue card. But we do have to keep casting Tarmogoyce, we just don't have a choice. And he's got a strip mine out there, which is pretty lousy, but... Uh, hopefully he does not have a force of will and we can pressure him here. That was a sloppy play by me there, though. worse for me though. Because he's got a bounce and he's got a block. All right, we got there. So I feel rather fortuitous having gotten to that point. Um, that could have been really bad for us. But I do like our chances in this match. I mean, it's 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 decent. I don't think we make any changes here. Let's see if we can uh, finish up near the top of the Swiss. And this is a pretty good hand. It's not it's not great, but. It's not terrible either. We obviously need some help with some creatures here. Oh, that's a great draw. That's a really nice draw. Perhaps one of the better draws I could have. All right. Now here's the question. Do I actually try and do it next turn? I think so. He does have mana drain man up. Let's see what I draw. Force of will. I'm definitely going for it now. Yeah, I think I just gotta get a Trop Island. I hate to expose it. I hate to expose my white sources this way, but I don't think I have much of a choice. And hopefully this resolves. Yeah, that's great. Now he could have a whole bunch of stuff that could be really bad for me, but we do have a lot of counter magic here. Far more than I'm typically used to seeing in a hand like this, so um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Abrupt decay. Okay. Not much we can do about an abrupt decay. 
And hopefully it doesn't do anything to our land. Yeah, and I, I thought Naoto only had one wasteland in his deck. But he's apparently doing quite well finding them. Okay. Not much we can do there. Fetch land. Oops. Okay. Well, we're not going to do anything. I'm not going to wasteland them. I think we need to build our man up here, and at least we can try and get a Trigon or a Tarmo down. We're building up towards a batter skull here. Um, he might have a gush. It's just not worth doing it. You know, we can fight over Jace. He may be dropping a Jace right here. No. Fetch land. Stoneforge. I like that. That's a great card to draw. And let's go get to GT. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got eight cards in hand. Jeez, Louise. Um, I guess I'll discard a Jeet. That looks makes me look really stupid for fetching that up. But I'm unwilling to get rid of any of my counter magic here. This pitches to the force of will, and I've got. Uh, that's fine. Because getting a batter skull down is very, very powerful. So he's going to try something here. Well, we got a mental misstep for that. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. We got an STP too. I would have loved to land uh, so I could play a Tarmogoyf. But regardless, we still have Force of Will active in our hand, which is pretty solid. Okay, let's get in our batter skull and hopefully this thing will hang around for a while. Enough to kill him. Land? All right. Uh, Blue-white land. It's better than nothing. I'll take it. Um, I don't think I'm going to STP that thing right now. Maybe I should, I don't know. <laughs> I 
I mean, I could be going after his lands. I, I'm really paranoid he's got a gush in his hand. But I think he would have gushed by now if he had it. But I also want to be able to return my, my batter skull here. All right. Let's try and... Now, is this thing active? It is. Okay. So maybe what we do is we STP this thing here. Um, see, he can pay for my pierce. Which is really bad. Let's force his hand. So if he goes for a mana here, it's a pretty smart play. Yeah, and he did. And that's not a surprise from Naoto. So that means he's got a mana drain. So let's force a Willem here. We don't have a choice. We got a force of will. Hopefully he does not have his own force of will. So we are seeing a mana drain here. Alright, got there. Now all we need is a land. A green producing land would be very sweet here. Okay, messed up's not terrible. Now here's the thing, do we try and put, kill one of his black lands here? I, I think we do at this stage. I mean, if he's got a gush, so be it. Oh wow, okay. Let's take a red source out of there too. Okay, green, oh wow, wasteland. Well, it's getting down to crunch time here. I um, think I'll just take one of those lands. Does he got a gush? Nope. All right. True name, Nemesis. Okay, Snapcaster. That's fine. Okay. All right, guys, there we go. Off to top eight we go.